this video is about deep and cross networks so deep and cross neural networks were successor to deep and wide neural networks deep and wide neural networks were also learning the feature crossing and higher order feature interactions but it was not that highly efficient as it is in like deep and cross neural networks and what is more like you also have to supply some more uh, explicit features along with the uh, raw implicit data in deep and wide neural network whereas whereas this neural network uh, is only supplied with the raw data with the raw data it's uh, running some back propagation and all that and results are considerably very very good as compared to previous baseline which is deep and wide neural networks so this uh, deep and cross networks can be used in in a uh, ranking stage of uh, recommender system and also like uh, main uh, inspiration of this uh, deep and uh, cross neural network is factorization machine like factorization machine was like developed in like 2012 or 2011 and uh, it was uh, learning higher order feature interactions very very well over the implicit data so it is a main inspiration behind this uh, paper and uh, now let's uh, jump to the architecture so this is deep and cross neural network and the left part is a crossing network so what crossing network is doing is uh, it is uh, doing the feature crossing after every layer and uh, feature crossing is uh, improving the higher order feature interactions so like it might be still confusing for the sum of the viewers like what is a feature interaction so let me quote an example like for feature interaction suppose we are working for a real estate client right so while working for the real estate client like these features are very very rich rich features like example whether the person is educated and whether the person is rich and these features are going to have high influence over the, over the target variable which is whether the per person is going to buy a house or not so when the model when the model is supplied with the, this uh, two features the results were like considerably okay and but uh, the client was not very very happy then the senior data scientist in our team he recommended uh, like the feature crossing needs to be done bet between these two features so after doing the feature crossing like these four features are were generated and these four features like uh, when they were fed with the fed in the model and they were able to generate very very good results like there was high degree of association and there was high degree of uh, feature interaction between these two features like whether the person is educated and uh, he is rich and these uh, two features are like highly inter uh, were interacting with each other in high manner so this is all feature interaction and uh, another example is like in uber we can cross the features like uh, latitude latitude uber data we can cross a latitude and longitude and after crossing these two features the results are going to be a way way better so this is all feature crossing and feature interaction so now jumping to original architecture so this so this is a deep and cross neural network and this, this is a cross layers and these are deep layers so we have a raw data raw data can be sparse and uh, it can be also a dense and it can have a both features both sparse and dense and uh, what we have to do is we have to uh, convert the sparse feature into dense feature after like embedding them to a dense feature they are finally concatenated and they are fed uh, into both deep network and uh, cross network and uh, what deep network will do is it will learn the implicit features uh, from the raw data it will generate new implicit features out of raw data but it will not uh, learn the higher order feature interactions like uh, as I have explained in example whereas cross network this layer is going to learn higher order fe uh, feature interaction very well and after each layer there is a feature crossing which further improves uh, on the feature interaction and uh, and after like crossing after feature crossing 
uh, after the crossing layers the finally both of the new newly learned fe uh, like uh, features are concatenated and finally the model is fed into a sigmoid unit for uh, uh, prediction uh, like for a probabilistic pre prediction so this is all deep and wide uh, deep and cross neural network and as you can see these are some equations and that all was architecture of deep and uh, uh, cross neural network and after and let's understand this better by some equations and this is a operation which uh, which defines the embedding of low dimensional sparse feature into high dimensional one and uh, this is a vector which contains all all the features which are concatenated and uh, yeah these contains all all the features and all the features are high dimensional after embedding and also includes the previously uh, high dimensional features too and this uh, this equation represents the next layer of a cross network which contains this uh, ve vector like this concatenated vector and uh, this uh, this corresponds to the next layer uh, and this corresponds to the weight belonging to next layer and these are belongs to bias and th this too like this operation can be also written as in form of this function and uh, this function is a mapping uh, r dimensional vectors into r dimensional vectors too and uh, yeah as i was explaining like uh, these crossing layers are ensuring higher order of interactions between the features and this explains the comp and this explains the complexity where d d corresponds to the input dimension of the uh, input dimension and uh, lc corresponds to the number of cross cross layers into two yeah so this represents the complexity of uh, cross layers the deep network equations can be defined using a, a function over the previous layer. This function can be a ReLU, Sigmoid or any leaky ReLU or anything and uh, this is like pretty easy. The next layer is defined as the function uh, belonging to previous layer and yeah, like this layer is uh, like a function over the previous layer like the it can have the different activations. So this is a complexity analysis. D denotes to input dimension and M denotes to uh, deep layer size and LD denotes to the number of deep layers. So this equation corresponds to a combination layer. Combination layer is simply concatenating uh, the, the outputs of uh, deep layers and uh, cross layers. Sorry, these are cross layer and these are deep layers. And finally, a logistic uh, sigmoid is trained on top of that. So this corresponds to this and sigmoid over the concatenated uh, concatenated uh, layers, yeah. And uh, and this is a loss function. A loss function is a simple log loss, and uh, with the, this is a regularization term to prevent over overfitting. And lambda is some uh, param hyperparameter to like uh, control the overfitting. So that's all. So, so lastly, these deep and cross neural networks can be like uh, thought of as successor to factorization machine. machine. So it was developed in uh, uh, 2010s and it was considered as a state of the art at that time. So this is a matrix. So this matrix corresponds to the rating given by the user to each item where U1 corresponds to the user and I1 corresponds to the rating. And this can be like decomposed into this binarized format. So where uh, user U1 and uh, item I1 is true, uh, the rating is true like so this way it can be decomposed and some auxiliary features can be added like which corresponds to the interaction between user u1 and item 2 uh, item i1 so this can be like the features related to time or uh, like some other features so that was all about the like uh, the diagram now let's as you can see uh, this is equation of a factorization machine and W0 corresponds to the bias term and WP is uh, weight correspond to each feature XP 
and uh, like WPQ is the weight corresponding to the interaction between the features like it is uh, the weight of uh, interaction between the two features uh, w uh, XP and XQ so this way it improved upon uh, like second order feature interactions we can also improve upon uh, like uh, third and fourth order feature interaction but like the model complexity is going to increase a lot so that's why like second order feature interactions were considered then so this was a state of the art at that time so that's all now jump to the original paper so that way we can see like a feature uh, the factorization machine were improving the feature interactions so similarly this cross layer was also improving the feature interactions like uh, factorization machines did the uh, in early uh, 2010s so now similarly it can be also explained using efficient projection and polynomial approximation based approaches uh, but uh, the factorization machine approaches wa approach was a uh, better as it is quite noticeable in this uh, table that deep and cross neural network outperform deep and cross and deep neural network and uh, other factorization machine based approaches too so even 0.001 percent increase in log loss is considered as very very good in this uh, ctr based application and so also the there was also not too much increase in parameters as you can see very less parameter as compared to deep and deep neural networks and similarly it uh, achieved the back be best log loss with the various memory budgets so that was all to conclude we can say deep and cross neural network were the outperforming deep and wide neural networks when they are fed with the raw data and it was learning the higher order feature interactions way better than the deep end wide neural networks and other factorization machine based approaches and even in this uh, industrial scale application even 0.001 percent increase in ctr is very very significant like it uh, brings in like millions of dollars in revenue so that was all thank you for the watching